Good morning. Good morning. I welcome each and every one of you to Digital One Radio. You're tuning in live this morning. I just want to share with you a few words of encouragement before we go into prayer. Our scripture for today will be coming from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19. The word of God reads, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing now and it shall spring forth. Ye shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I just want to encourage someone today that no matter what you're going through, and it may seem like times are difficult and times are hard, but just know this, that our life is made up of layers. There are many layers to each of us. We got relationships, jobs, and places, and in layers, um, we go through different things. There are sinful layers, there are sinful deeds, there are attitudes that we may need to correct and get right. But I just want to just encourage you and let you know that the Lord is peeling back the layers. And there may have been some things that you may have not been made aware of about yourself. And you're learning that beneath those layers, there's some unfinished business that has to take place before you go forward. You may have not been released from relationships. God may have released you, but you have not released those places or those people. You have not left those things behind. And what normally happens is it becomes a hindrance to your growth in the Lord. And the Lord um, requires that we move forward. He doesn't want us to be stagnant. He wants to empower us not only to see, but to finish strong. And in the process of God peeling back those layers, you see what's in your heart. You see what your intentions are. And that's a good thing. And I want to encourage you that if you act quickly and, and do what God is telling you and not allow your heart to become hardened in this hour, you will be blessed. It is about obedience in this hour. God wants to move you forward into the things that he has for you. God wants to bless you. God wants to prosper you. God wants to do a new thing in your life. God wants you to release those things and, and he wants to, to uh, he wants you to allow him to bring those things in your life that will help you and help you grow. But you got to trust God as you go through the process. It's not always easy letting go. It's not always easy coming out of those things that God told you to come out of. But in this hour, it's crucial that you cr you trust God um, as he take you through the process. God said that he would never leave us nor forsake us. And as he takes us through the process, there are going to be some pains. There's going to be some discomfort. But I can assure you that God has you. If you would put your focus and your trust in the Lord. I know that God is going to bring you through strong. I know that you're, you're going to come through this. You're going to come through it stronger. You're going to know that God was with you in it all along. For in the um, book of Psalms 147 and 3, the word of God reads, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Go through the process. Release those places. Release those people. Release those things so that you can go forward in this hour. I'll say it again. Release those things that do not please God so that God can release, so that God can replace it with something much greater and something much better. There's a benefit fit in the release. There's a benefit in letting go. We have to trust God in this process. So no matter what you may be going through, allow God to peel back those layers. Allow God to show you where you need to let go and, and allow him to come in and do the surgery that needs to be done. You know what I'm talking about. You know that God is ministering to you. You know that he's doing something special and fantastic in your life. But we all have to go through the process. And the process is not always an easy process. But the process is there to grow you up. The process is there to build up your faith and build up your trust with God. Just as you see me on this radio station, it has been a process. 
It has been a war, but God is doing a new thing. And God wants to not only prosper me, but he wants to prosper those that are around me. That's why this message is coming straight to you. God had to deal with me first, and now I'm giving it out to you. Allow God to take you through the process. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Let us clear our hearts and clear our minds as we approach the throne of grace. In Jesus name, is that all right? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Father, we come before you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus to say thank you. Father God, we thank you for the process, oh God. For Father God, there were things that we did not understand, oh God. There were questions, oh God. Many may have asked why. How come I have to go through this? But Lord, you told us, oh God, with all thy getting, get an understanding. So Father God, we come before you this morning asking in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would forgive each and every one of us, oh God. If we have not let go those things and those people and those places you told us to come out of. For Father God, we're asking in the name of Jesus, oh God, that as we lay our burdens down and as we lay our cares down father that you would comfort us father in the name of Jesus oh God for father God I ask oh God that you would take away the spirit of fear those that are being hindered those that are being tormented by the spirit of fear father God I ask in the name of Jesus that they would understand that the spirit of fear is not of you father for you said that you have not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind for father God I pray in the name of Jesus oh God that those oh God that have been held captive oh God that there will be a release oh God to those oh God in the name of Jesus, oh God, that are bound, oh God, by people. Father God, I'm asking in the name of Jesus, oh God, that those that are connected, oh God, to people, God, that you've released them from years and years and years ago. But because of disobedience and stubbornness, oh God, I ask in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would raise them up this hour, God, that they will come out from amongst them, oh God. For Father God, I pray against that draining spirit, that manipulating spirit, that spirit that comes to bring confusion God build my sisters and brothers up today God give them strength oh God with their weak God in the mighty name of Jesus oh God uh, give them boldness oh God where they feel like they have no courage God uh, Lord I pray God in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would move expeditiously, God, uh, that they may see, oh God, that you're doing a new thing in this season, oh God. Uh, Lord, allow them to receive the blessings, oh God. Uh, let the blessings of the Lord overtake them right now. Let the blessings of the Lord overshadow them right now. For Father, they've been in that low place too long. They've been in that dry place too long. Uh, I command in the name of Jesus, those that are bound hand and foot, ch ch chains and fetters, I command you to be loose right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, I pray, God, uh, for a fresh wind, oh God, uh, for the winds of change to come, oh God. Uh, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a release, oh God, uh, to those that are in prison, oh God, uh, to those that are embedded to sin, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, come out of procrastination, come out of low self-esteem, uh, come out of self-pity. In the name of Jesus, that the Lord can do a quick work, a new thing in you. God said that he would not leave you in the valley. Huh? God said that he would not leave you. Huh? He said he would never forsake you. Huh? Oh God, in the name of Jesus, build up her confidence, oh God, huh? that she may run on and see what the end's gonna bring. Huh? Lord, build up her strength, oh God, huh? in you, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, huh? for you told us not to fret. You told us not to worry. So Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that we won't doubt you in this new season. Huh? Lord, he are Thank you, Lord. He's tearing down strongholds. Uh, he's causing you to think right now. What is it that he told you to release? Uh, what is it that he told you to let go of? Uh, that you're still holding on to? That you're still harboring? Uh, what is it uh, that you've allowed to stand in the way of your purpose and your destiny? Uh, God said, fear not. Uh, for the end is greater uh, than what you're going to experience right now. Uh, right now, what you're experiencing is a stretching. What you're experiencing is growing pangs. Uh, God desires to do a new thing come out from among them 
come out from among them and allow God to bring you into that place of rest. Allow God to bring you into that place of peace. Allow God to restore your soul. Allow God to do a new thing in you. He said it. I will do a new thing. He said it. I'm going to show you this place. If you would just come out and trust me and follow me. When we think about Abraham, he said, get thee out of thy father's house uh, and go to a place that I'll show you. There was some obedience. There was some faith that he had to have in order to do it. Uh, and then when we go over in the 22nd chapter after the relationship with God and Abraham grew some we see that he told him now I want you to sacrifice take the young lad and I want you to go to a mountain to a place where I'm gonna show you and I want you to sacrifice him and I want you to place him on the altar understand this beloved this is a new season and you have to be obedient in this season you have to trust God in this season you can't be fearful you have labored you have spent time with the Lord it is time for you now to come out of your comfort zone so that God can do this new thing thing in you release it let it go for if God gave it to you God will sustain it God will make sure that you keep it you can give it all right back to God and I promise you in the name of Jesus you won't be disappointed God is a burden bearer God is a promise keeper don't mess with my promise God is doing a new thing God said he will not forsake you God said that he will not leave you God will not abandon you and reject you and leave you in a place of confusion. You can go to God and ask God to reveal to you what it is that he is showing you. Allow God to minister to you, men and women of God. He desires to do a new thing in you. He desires to peel back the layers so that you can be built up so that you can see and know what's in your heart. I love you all with the love of the Lord. I thank you all for tuning in. Be blessed and have a prosperous day. In Jesus name, we do pray. Amen and God bless you.